Ah, the guard is on the march once again. That means we are once again in N NTW3 with another Napoleonic battle for you today. And this is a glorious one as we are in the like the 100 days campaign sort of uh, cause. Uh, we have the French now just going in. Actually, they just charge in amongst the Prussians. Got some of their uh, Chasseur Cheval going on here, it seems, against the Prussians. We've got the, uh, the guard. Lance is being sent in as well. So all of a sudden, it seemed like they were just going to have a quite peaceful standoff. And then all of a sudden, the French gone, no. No longer will we have peace. We shall have war. And they're going to cut down some of these uh, Prussians. They're breaking some here. We've got the uh, really elite, like, lances, uh, like the red lances here. And we've got more, like, French cavalry over here. We've got some dragoons. They're routing some uh, Landwehr Ullens there. We've got huge Prussian infantry units here. 260 men. And they are preparing... Um, Across the river that they have. And you've got French cavalry here. Look at this. Real's cavalry is coming in behind as well. Whichever leg of lands is here going in. They're going in deep after more Prussian cavalry here. There they go. Yes, we have the French here on the march once again in this 100 days campaign sort of scenario that's going on. With one Prussian army and three British uh, facing four French. This is uh, Landwehr desperately trying to stop all this incoming French cavalry. Look at that, there you go. They're going after the guns, I believe, anyway. Yeah, taking those out very quickly. And it seems like the Prussians have dealt with, uh, like, the first French incursion. I think the French have mainly retreated after their first charge. Um, the French cavalry in behind is still causing a bit of havoc. You can see their Chevrolet good lance is breaking. They break that unit there with Chasseurs. Where are they going to go next, I wonder? It's like they're more land battles. They're going to go after this gun, I imagine. Or the general. We've got Bulo here. Is going in, but yes, we are here with more Napoleonic action, so you better be ready with your musket and your saber at the ready as we prepare for some Napoleonic action. Those guns are getting absolutely annihilated. But if you're enjoying seeing NTW3 on the channel and would like to see some more, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe from you around here, and a comment to show your support. There's so many guns around here, my god, and they just they nearly took them all out. The French did a really good job. We're gonna come after it with this. I imagine this Lancer here is gonna try and go for the gun. I don't know if they can cross there. They may have to cross over there where the uh, other French cavalry unit did. Yeah, they're going to get pinned down here by Prussians. And that will be the end of the cavalry. But yes, I hope you guys do enjoy the action. I've certainly been uh, enjoying doing NTW3 at the moment. And it's good to be back. Um, and yeah, I'll be currently this be away when this... Uh, rude. How rude. I'll currently be away when this uh, like video is coming out, but uh, I'll certainly enjoy seeing what you guys think about it in like the comments. Definitely feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you feel uh, about, I don't know, NTW3, do you want to see more of it? Is there certain like factions you want to see more of, like Britain? Uh, I mean, you've got no real choice of France. France is probably going to appear in nearly every single battle. Um, but yeah, would you like to see more Britain, more Prussia? Would you like to see more about uh, like the HRE uh, with their huge like 15k man armies that you often see? Or would you like to see the Russians once again? Let me know in the comments. But it seems like the uh, the Imperial Guard here is uh, starting to get underway. It's starting to fire off some volleys. The elite of the French army. Firing some volleys. I mean, what they're firing at currently is, uh, well, land there. They might as well get closer, I think. Most of these units can form square, so... They have nothing really to fear when it comes to cavalry. Looks like they could be facing two armies here, though. There is also a British army supporting the Prussians here. Though it does also look like uh, the Imperial Guard is going to get support from Gerard here. Well, it looks like uh, Rial, who is uh, like here in the center on this hill, and then we have uh, De Erlon over here, are going to be doing uh, their own bits of work. And it looks like, yeah, Rial's like, oh, they do Chevrolet Lancers that broke a little while ago. Massar's here as well, setting up. And it seems like we've got some... Uh, He's like some Dutch shooter or something like that, guys. Uh, to Pard Renault. I don't know how you say that. It's probably Dutch or Belgian, I imagine. Um, but I know that we have the uh, William Prince of Orange over here. He is going to be commanding the left flank. Then in the center facing a Real will be Wellington, wherever he's got to. He's all the way over there now. There he is, old Boney. He'll be doing his, th doing his thing, winning battles decisively. Where is he? He rode ahead. Yeah, he has. Look at this. Lead him from the front. Leaving the rest of his bodyguard long behind. What a madman. But anyway, yeah, so it should be a very, very interesting battle. It'll be interesting to see how this one goes down. Another little gun being sent over here. Six pounder horse artillery being sent over to support this massive fight that's getting underway here. It seems like this is where 
the uh, the fighting is going to start and be fiercest because there's a lot of Prussians here. The guard are already getting involved. They got some of the most good looking uniforms around. Their uniforms really are just beautiful. Just beautiful. And okay, cavalry charging. More French cavalry going in. It's like elite guard cavalry again going in. Filling up the la uh, these uh, land there back here. I mean, they might break them. There's a lot of land there here. I think they're just going for like cycle charges. Not the worst thing in the world. More cavalry coming in here. These dragoons now. Well, they being held back. Right? There's some hussars that are trying to hold them back. Lots of land there in here. And now he's going to be a charge in the flank by the Lancers. It's these other uh, it's these, uh, land there, sorry. If I just call them land there. These are actually Polish uh, Ullens, so pretty good cab. And they're also part of the uh, Imperial Guard, so that's also going to make sure they're actually good. These Dragoons broke. France is kind of burning through its cavalry a little quick. It needs to hold on some of it for late game. Especially this Elite Guard cavalry. Uh, luckily they've held on to uh, like the Elite... This elite red one over here, the red lances, they're just basically called Lancers Rouge. But uh, look at that, Britain is a huge flank on the uh, Imperial Guard if he wants to force it. I mean, the thing is though, I mean, I certainly would. I mean, look at that, they, these units are getting absolutely bad. The guard's in a bit of a sticky position, another good shot there on Grenadiers. They haven't brought the Grenadiers of the old guard, but they brought some like different ones of the Imperial Guard. They got like, uh, these ones are all in white. They haven't got like, the uh, the first first battalion, which is like the really iconic unit of the old guard, they're dueling quite well with these uh, landver here. I mean, the landver accuracy is probably terrible. I doubt these units, have, yeah, taking relatively low losses. I mean, landver haven't taken. I mean, they're taking quite a lot on this unit. Three hundred and four men in this unit. Jeez. Real's got to certainly try and force his flank, I think. Try and force it back across. It seems like they're bring a lot of land there. Are the, uh, are the Prussians. And we've got some... Uh, what have we got here? These are the Hussars. And they're just lingering at the bottom of this hill. Haven't really seen, but I'm not 100% sure if there are any cuirassiers or any like heavy sort of cavalry being brought by the uh, by the French. I do believe most of them are under like uh, the like the cavalry corps. Or like the, yeah, which is like... Bezeris or something like that. I can't actually rem remember how you pronounce his name. But the cavalry commander. So they may not actually have that many cuirassiers available. But we've got hussars here. We've got uh, like just lots of like light dragoons and stuff like that. So I mean, this is a pretty sizable unit. French need to be concerned. 99 men. I haven't seen any like heavy cavalry though for the British either. So maybe a game without any real sort of heavy cap being committed. But anyway, back over to where the action's really taking place. We've still got these uh, chasseurs. Yeah, these are all chasseurs here. Setting up, doing their bit. Weakening these French units down. Oh, these uh, Prussian units down. Certainly not weakening the French down. Look at these men. These men are merely just farmers that are given a gun, basically. Ba given basic training and sent to war. Brave fools. Think they can take on the guard. Also, doesn't help that they're getting friendly fired by a British gun here. King's German Legion 9 pounder set up. It's a big gun for the British. The British used to use 6 pounders. It's more of a French thing to use a 9 or a 12 pounder. That's, yeah, that's aiming and hitting the uh, Volt Gear unit there, which is a, I mean, not a bad target. Any guard unit is a good target. Yeah, Real. Oh, Gerard, sorry, he's setting up more troops here. I was about to call him Real. He's setting up Real. But honestly, I think if the French, like, just go super aggressive on this flank, they'll be okay because, like, this French army here, this is Real's army, it's, like, really pushed up. So, um,. Like, Wellington in the centre here is going to have to deal with Real. He can't really go over and support these two armies. Or it's, if he does, it's going to cost his own, like, centre and left. So Girard should just really push hard on this river crossing here. Like, on this river. Cross the river if he must. Push back this left flank. Let the guard soak up the fire. Looks like they've turned their flank. Because they are obviously concerned about that massive British flank that was out here. 
clearly can't see anymore because there's uh, lances. Don't think they've really moved because the guns still work. I just push hard against the Prussians and see where you go from there. This guard union, these guard units need to be careful that they don't get flanked by uh, any Prussians themselves. As they now push harder on this uh, small force here. Firing at Prussians in a wood, I don't think that's gonna be like if it if I don't know, these Prussians get a pretty hard hit. I was gonna say, surely they get a little bit of cover from the tree line, but I'm not entirely sure. Land bear over here also firing. I'm trying to hit Real's troops all the way off in the distance. I wonder what's in this building. I'm kinda of surprised that the Prussians didn't bring any sort of like musketeers and if that just brought all land there. Oh no, this is a musketeer unit here. Apparently, it's like, I don't know what it is, but it says Musketeer in it, so, and it doesn't say Landwehr, though it does look like Landwehr. I guess they're just relying on the British for elites, and then they're going to just give the numbers. Not a bad combo, to be fair. Go look at this, Real is sending lots of columns of infantry as well, he's going to look like he's going to try and flank, potentially, um, this force. It could also be uh, a combination of three French armies attacking those two. Real has got a huge core in fairness. Look at this. The size of this army is, mm, is pretty big. Britain usually doesn't have large armies in the 100, day, uh, 100 days campaign. Like her uh, cores, if I remember correctly. And they're usually filled with uh, a mix of Dutch and Belgians and all sorts of other stuff. And there you go. They've appeared. They have appeared. This is, uh, I believe, this must be William of Orange's army. I imagine a lot of it is, yeah, Dutch stuff. There are going to be some Brits here. Bell Battalion, that's not a good unit. Line Infantry, William of Orange moving up. Bell Battalion, line. yeah, maybe it's going to be mostly, uh, might actually be then mostly Dutch and Belgians. Not good then if you're fighting for the uh, British. Oh, good charge here though by the cavalry. Charging in the flank of Real. There's a uh, light infantry here, could not form up with the hussars here. They'll put down a lot of these guys. These look like a Brunswicker unit. The, li the light infantry is holding. It's actually holding, which I'm kind of surprised. Are they going to fire into the back of their own infantry? Please tell me they're not going to fire. Oh, thank God. I was going to say. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like... Oh, these guys can form square, though. Why would you not form square? Just to be careful. It seems like the Hussars are going to win. Uh, going to lose. The morale says that. I mean, then at the same time, these unit is apparently losing slightly. Oh, yeah. There you go. All of a sudden, that's changed. Anyway, back to the major line fight that's going on. Oh, and here you go. The British have appeared. The British have appeared. And now the guard is really to play. And we've got Grenadiers that'll be thrown forward. We've got um, Sirs, all sorts. We've got the Nasties being thrown in. These are just Sirs. These are just Sirs, the old guard, not just Sirs like the middle and young guard, which are uh, what we've seen already in action. Voltigares as well. How did this? There's a guy that the back line just got shot and died. Here we go, the British are really piling forward now, and they're piling forward, look at this, and really... I mean, the columns are good, like, fighting in column in uh, NTW3 is better for you, um, but I wouldn't have said like this, I like how the French have done it, like, that sort of column is better, you don't want to fight like this, your A is denying as many troops as firing as possible, and you're not, like, stretching the enemy out as much as possible, but look at this, I mean, it's going to allow for a lot of concentrated fire, I guess, but like I said this is very effective. They're not even firing at the British. Come on. Give the Frenchies a volley. They're right there. It's the cream of the crop. The old guard. Well, not the old guard. The Imperial guard. Prussians are breaking. What the heck is going on here? The British are trying to follow up. Is this Wellington's army as well? This seems like there's a lot of British here. This might be Wellington's army as well, you know. 
think it might be because uh, Riel's pushed around all this way and has not seen any action. And this gun set up back here, this 9 pounder has been abandoned. It's going to get charged by um, an infantry unit. Here we've got uh, men are running, uh, Le Colonel General being sent in. Very nice. <laughs> God, look at this. There's a horse artillery here that's desperately trying to get out of here. About to be just destroyed by this infantry unit here. Rip in peace to that unit. They're not even stopping to engage it. Yeah, just broke that instantly. And the British are just charging into combat. Why? I don't know. I don't know what is going on here. The British are just charging across. And it looks like it's going to be a massive, uh, massive melee fight. In goes the cavalry. Like land there. I mean, there's high on foot here. This is good infantry as well. Don't want to just throw that away. You can see the uh, old guard has like retreated. They lost a lot of men as well in this area here. So the guard you can see is getting forced back quite a bit up this hill. As is Gerard. So I mean, clearly like the numbers of the uh, British just kind of caught them unawares. There are still some guard units over here. These are the original ones getting sent in. They're kind of caught out. These guys will be racking up here. Just... The British and the friend, uh, the British and the Prussians ahead of them are just very disorganised. And now the guard retreats because he realises it needs to. And yeah, the guard is actually broken. Sappers as well setting up. These guys will be hard to, hard to kill. And this uh, like Polish lance is down to eleven men. And they're holding back quite a bit. There you go, they're gone now though. They're gone now though. Gerard's still got some units here, he needs to pull them back. And all of a sudden, I don't know, you know, Real is starting to try and box, Real and Gerard are trying to box up the rear, but like, Britain is like really pushing hard up the centre. And he's also like pushing his flank quite a lot. It's quite an intense fight. It's not going to be a long one, but it's going to be intense. Royal Sappers and Miners. There's some cool units here. Light Foot, the Highland, uh, Light Highland Foot, basically. Don't often see them. Oxfordshire Light Foot. A lot of British units over here. There are obviously still a lot of, like, uh, Dutch and Belgians as well, but there's a lot more British in this army than, say, in some of the other ones. What was went in there? We've got some goons that went in. Didn't seem like they did enough damage. They're now being chased by uh, Westphalian, oh not Westphalian, West Prussian Owens. The guards now going to get attacked. The French retreat sitting a little bit chaotic. Real in the back lines though is uh, an ever, pre ever present threat. I feel like that, he is uh, constantly there. Volley boys. Beautiful. It's Colonel General here doing, doing its work. Breaking line infantry. What we've got here, more land fair. This unit here. Dragoons at the back though. So they've got some cav slug Prussians. It just looks like chaos. It really does. Wellington is here, so we can confirm. I did think he must be. Because, I mean, well, it looks like then Real and. Uh, the Earl are going to be able to like mop up the Prince of Orange because he's on his own. Or the Earl could just do it himself, and Real could then turn his full strength against this huge army over here. Because the French are actually technically outnumbered here. Though they probably have the better position. They're currently surrounding a lot of the, of the British. And they're sending in line infantry here. Presuming like some Brunswick line infantry go from their dark uniforms. I imagine we will break on impact because they've just been hit so many times by volleys of Maybe not. Yeah, they, there you go. Broken. And the British charge is losing a bit of momentum. Like the units that got sent in are now being uh, forced back down the hill. And they're not really. Like, look at this. They're kind of like, what is this line that they're forming here? You've got random units jotted all over the place firing and probably causing, like, 
friendly fire, not good. We've got a gun set up here, six pound of shrapnel artillery. Just see how that does. Britain seems has the numbers on this side, so they should maybe be able to force back the guard. Then knowing the guard, they can probably hold these guys back. They've got grenadiers here, these white. These uh, grenadiers all in white. Looking mighty fine. Oh, the officer's gone. No! It's just the drummer left to command them. There you go. Britain sending another charge in here and he's now battling out with Gerard. A Jens under attack? Oh, we've got uh, Dupont here. Oh no, it's not the Dupont, it's uh, Juo. He must be just getting hit by stray bullets or something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, they keep sending charges at uh, this rear line. And every single one has failed so far. This is hard, just got sent in and just got murdered. Lots of land there, there was a great thing. Mercilessly getting shot at by the French. And it's looking pretty rough. Over on this side, as we just come over to the much calmer side, looks like the French are about to sail the hill where uh, Prince of Orange does have some troops. His foot guards here as well. Jeez. Why were the foot guards in. Prince of Orange is called. They just wouldn't have been the thing. They'd have been with Wellington. Why these guys are under there, I don't know. But they look like they're uh, still getting underway. But most concerningly, the first wave of Prussians and stuff like that have all been broken. We've now got some musketeers that have like, been sent back and more land there. And they're now trying to hold them back. The British have lost a lot of troops here char making silly charges. Like First of all, when it is like Britain probably excels more in a line battle as it's doing over here. It's actually going to break the guard. It's going to lose a lot of men doing so, but it is going to break down these guard units, and they maybe be able to get in behind. That is potentially a thing. Also, Anthony Drew over here is being hit by artillery, I think. So uh, that may also be a way to kill off um, the guard, just break them with morale. Well, the Highland foot getting broken there. It looks like Britain's retreating back down the hill. Or some of his troops are. His more elites are anyways. Yeah, you could belt battalion. I'm saying they're elites. They're really not. These Dragoons are going to be able to just flank uh, Real, though. And they can't form square. So they're in a bit of trouble. What's he going for? Is he just go? Yeah, he is going for that, that flank. I didn't think he must be. They're going to break that one. Can the next one form square? No, it can't. Can any of these form square? Real's starting to run out of momentum over here as well, actually, concerningly. No, none of these guys can form square, so they're going to have to try and save themselves. I honestly don't know why Real didn't send more, uh, especially when he saw like that Wellington was just committed everything there and wasn't in the center. He's now going to, I guess, try and fight Prince of Orange. I mean, it seems a lot of infantry just to fight one Our army men here. Are running, sir. A lot of infantry. And a lot of this is line infantry of just like Dutch and stuff like that. It's just not that great. Just a cheval here. Again, not really any. Like I said, there's no real uh, heavy cavalry on either side in this battle. What are they going in for? What the heck is this formation they just formed? They're going to go in for these, uh, these flankers, I imagine, yeah. The line infantry, yeah, take them out. Or skirmishes. Not line infantry. There, they're gone. They're gone. And then what's going up here? More line infantry. Over on the other side, the cavalry ha from Britain has been unleashed. Don't know why these guys didn't form square, but they didn't. And she says here, are probably going to get forced back. I don't know. Hard to say. Rialz is going to kind of let this happen. Don't know if he should really just be allowing that to happen. But hey, he has now. And it seems like Real over on this side is also getting just forced back with that, by that one Prussian cavalry, this one Dragoon here, forcing back all the Real's troops. And France, even though it looked like it was on top in this area, is now being uh, 
There's no questioning that. I don't know what these red lancers, but they've been mauled a bit as well. They're down to 13 men. What happened to them? Britain was so close to breaking the guard on this flank and is now uh, given up. He's decided no. It's not to be. He's going to have to retreat. There's a lot of dead here though. Look at this. There's so many dead. A lot of it will be Prussian land bear as well, I bet. And there's like, what is this? There's more line infantry that's been like idly left behind by the British. A volley from the Frenchies, please? No, oh, that'll do. That might do. There we go. It's a bit better, but they are. I mean, it looks like uh, Real's little force that's got sent over it has gone. The dragoons have like. Gonna protect the flank, we I guess. General, a general has gone. So, oh, the Prince of Orange has been killed. Okay, how the heck did they get back here then? They must have gone all the way behind with the Chasseur Cheval. And they're now taking out guns as well. And as you can see, the Prince of Orange is already, or his army is in mass retreat. He is, uh, well, he's dead. He's not retreating at all. He's lying in the ground, dead. I mean, these French, uh, French infantry can harass the Fell Battalion now. Take this artillery out. Very nicely done. And they're breaking more infantry here. Fell Battalion breaking. We've got my infantry breaking there. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see this formation. Like, Real is just like... If, like, Dirl and Real formed an absolute murder box. An absolute murder box. The British had no chance. Not a chance in hell. They managed to win the cavalry fight. Even though they took a lot of infantry losses in doing so, though. And their own cavalry was lost. Back over here. Looks like the guard is uh, now in pursuit of this British army. So they want to take out this gun, this shrapnel artillery. It's doing a lot of damage to... Uh, their own positions. I don't know what exactly is going on with these like Cameron Highlanders that have just been left on the hill here. These could be pretty handy. Well, those are Cameron Highlanders, sorry. This is just Landwehr. Both could be pretty handy, you know. Landwehr has got its strengths, especially numbers, not necessarily quality. And then we've got, yeah, look at this. More French cavalry. This is a Hussar unit. How harassing these retreating British, making sure they can't get home. Can't tell their families about what happened here. King's German Legion breaking. Lots of breaking there. And Erlon's going to march on pretty much untouched. What's back here defending? We've got Lion Infantry off. Nothing impressive then. A lot of infantry just running for the hills. I mean, the British did, nearly did break through the centre. I mean, if you look at like... Um... Where they are, like here, for instance, they've kind of like split the, uh, the French army in two. There is like a little bit of reserve up here. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's hard to say. They, if they persisted, they may have broken through. I think at one point they certainly caught the French una unawares. I can make cavalry somewhere. Where the heck does that cavalry come from? Not a clue. Not a clue. Royal Welsh Fusiliers retreating with the rest of their army going running for the hills. Oh, well, there it is. That's what's when charging. What was it then? Oh, it's the French charging in against land there. Anyway, look at this. This Hussar unit has got so far. It's harassing so many units. Finally, it should get broken. The French can move even quicker because they're on the road. It's another way you can. Uh, like, get far as just marching on the road. I mean, if I was Real, I'd just send a couple of units in, break this line infantry. French line infantry can make, break that a lot quicker. Don't know where they're running to. Like, if you just carry on back there, you go into the red line. You may as well just defend around, like, the British may as well just defend around this town. Like, where else are you going to go? But they're uh, not going to be able to do that really anymore. The French have already kind of over nearly overtaken them. Look, they're moving so much quicker. 
I mean, they may not be now because they just engaged a routing unit. Maybe these guys are going to be... I think these might be the infantry. They're going to get dedicated to be sent in. Real's going to send in this infantry maybe to take the house. You want to take it. It's going to keep shooting you guys. A general's been lost. Whose general was lost? It was uh, Gerard's been killed. So the uh, cause that's... The corps that's really been helping out the uh, the guard has been killed. How the heck did he get shot then? How the heck is he? How has he been killed? Is the artillery back here? It might have been. I mean, one is still set up. I have no clue. No clue. There's a lot of guns back there, but none of them are actually working. And the guard has also caught up with the, uh, with the British here. And the British turned around, one or the other. Is doing the bit over here. Britain's uh, much depleted forces now running for the hills. Prussia, who's did a good job to start with, but uh, I mean, with what he brought, he expected no less. Real's retaking this side of the uh, of the river again after being pushed back. Our men are running, sir. The guard are losing some troops. Not many though. It's just beaten grenadiers down to the 80 men before they decided, nah, that's enough. We've had enough. We want to get some of these troops and they want to flank really as well. And look at this. Look at this crescent of French infantry. That is just chauffeuring the British uh, to the red line by the looks of it. It looks like where they're going. This is ridiculous. And the uh, British being ho are holding. Are running, being a pain taking this building. They said in light infantry is a bit of a bizarre choice. Yeah, and they broke. What they got here? More light infantry. These guys getting just focused down. They broke as well. I'd send these two units in. Send them in. Got to, <laughs> like the British are holding. Surprisingly, they are going to hold. My god. Is this building going to change the battle? Is it going to kill all of Real and Derlon's core? I highly doubt it, but you never know. Chasseurs, the Pete, doing their, doing their work. Lambert here as well, waiting. Gerard looks like he's put the rest of his core just into trying to fire on this position here. The guns have been left undefended. I mean, why why defend them now? There's no cavalry left. Seems a common theme in NTW3. Cavalry all seems to die in the first 10 minutes, or the first 5 probably in most games. And this has just left the infantry to grind out a victory. So many Dutch and Belgian bodies lit littering this water. This riverside. Polluting the water. I've oh, got some King's German Legion here. They'll be some they're decent infantry. Well, looks like this is where this British army is going to hold. When the Prussians look like they're not going to get much further. We've got a Prussian little cavalry unit here, actually. No, it's not Prussian. It's uh, French, sorry, Dragoons. Attacking Prussians, though. Oxfordshire light foot there. I presume that this is the uh, French taking that building. It's, it seemed like a, quite a cost. And it looks like uh, the other like British army is, like, yeah, realised it's getting close to the red line. I don't know where they're going to go from here. Going to go for this corner? They just might as well just stop. Might as well just stop and accept their death. There's no real need to carry on just being a uh, 
a pain. Might as well just step to your defeat. Um, biggest mistake for the, I don't know. Biggest mistake maybe for the Allies is just charging forward. They shouldn't just like, it, or if it, like they just faltered. Either they had to charge and like carry on charging in their masses like they did the British and the, uh, and the Prussians. They kind of faltered and stopped when they would just look like they were going to get to the top of the hill and take it. They decided no, not anymore. Not one more step. And the French took advantage of that and just uh, shot them as they all came, like, half went up the hill, half didn't. There you go, the British are off again. This army's going to retreat. They've had enough fighting with guard. I mean, the guard's pretty beat. Like, I mean, that shows that the guard We've can't be beaten. General, now they must Another general's break. been killed. Uh, I think that was the Prussian one. Yeah, Bulos has been killed. Or, yeah, Bulos has been killed, yeah. Or Denowitz. I don't want you to call him by. And there you go. That's the Prussians gone, I think, almost. Their morale is just shot because of that. What's this? This actually is the, the, uh, the gun that is still firing. So this was the one that took out Girard. Though it looks like it won't last much longer. The British are just, well, holding here. Barely. I'm assuming that Wesley's in here somewhere. Got a lot of 95th rifles in here. Yeah, a lot of ninth fifth rifles got thrown into that building. I'm presuming that Arthur Wesley is somewhere around here, somewhere as well, hiding, quivering in his boots. Here we go. The French have managed to catch the British. They're doing a big old bayonet charge. And uh, the, the morale's just going to go pretty quickly, I imagine, because they have no general. Uh, William of Orange has been pretty much made. I mean, that's another thing as well. Like, defensive, like... Generals has just not been well defended. I mean, getting shot by artillery is unfortunate. That happens. That's just unlucky. You yeah, look at that mass route. Um, but I mean, like, for instance, William of Orange just got like taken out by cavalry. That's why you have cavalry nearby in the square, or you have a uh, square formable infantry, so you can uh, stay and protect. Or put them in a building. A lot of people actually put their generals in buildings um, if they get close to the front lines. That's also an equally good uh, good position as long as the building is also. Defended with some other infantry, if it's like possible that he could get like charged. Only risk is that once he gets uh, battling in a in a building, he is stuck in there and also potentially may die. So it's a risk. That's it's a strategy I've seen a lot of players do. Oxford Oxfordshire light foot is probably one of the last decent uh, British infantry units alive. It's got 96 men in the unit. Yeah, a lot of these other ones are looking a bit beat. Yeah, oh no, King German Legion here. <laughs> there's a lot of units in here. I don't know if there's any more. No, there's just four by the looks of it. Four British units in there. Where Arthur Wesley's got to, I don't know. Whether he got killed, I'm not sure. So, King German Legion foot back here. This is it. This is it for the army, for the British army. I think it might be. Like the one that retreated in this direction. Actually, yeah, wow. That's a shame. And it looks like all the British army here has been defeated. The last two units is Lion Infantry here. Got beaten back. So this is going to be what this, this is it now for the British. It's a slow, painful death. The guard is doing a good job. They're going to get a lot of kills. And they're glorious uniforms. And it, what do the French send in? They're sending Voltigeurs. This is there. They're not going to take the building. They're not old guard Voltigeurs. They're not doing a lot of damage. These. these are just like skirmishes. But if they send in some guardsmen, they probably break through. Clashers here, Voltigeurs. They might break in. I don't know. Hard to say. They have got enough units around here though. Do the French? Oh, the British aren't quite out. The British aren't quite out. They found more. These chasseurs would have been a good job to take that building. They're now a bit busy. They're busy fighting about five or six. Oh, it looks like about six or seven British units now reappeared. I don't think they're going to be enough, though. 
it's not going to be enough to change the battle, but it's good. Valiant, uh, I don't know. A valiant way to go out, fighting for your country. And it looks like, looking at the map, those, uh, looks like those, those units down here returned. They just formed square. They did. What's he doing? Strange, strange decision. But we'll go back over here and just watch the valiant defeat of, uh, these British units here. More guards coming up. These units are tiny, but they'll fight on hard. What's Scott sending now? Gerard sending more infantry. This time, I mean, it looks like he's breaking the, uh, like the 95th rifles gradually. And these Jaegers. They're also firing on the building. Yeah, 95th. Yeah, okay, they're gonna lose it soon. Morale is looking rough. And there you go, the building has been taken by the French. Are gonna carry on fire. I mean, just just start, just just stand your ground now, Britain. Stand your ground. No, no, no point prolonging the inevitable. And once there were seven, and now there was four. And there's actually a lot more French now. But yeah, I mean, it's a bloody fight. The French are looking pretty beat as well in this area. Like, there is not many French left. So it's not like they did a bad job to the Allied forces. Just the French just did a slightly better one. Ever so slightly as well. Like, I mean, over on this side, we, we, if we don't take this into, like, into consideration... This is a lot of French here. Um, like, this small fight here, like the two and a, call it two and a quarter armies that were committed for the French. There's like, maybe three quarters of an army left, if that. So the Allied forces have done a good job. I mean, it's just a shame that three Allied, it's, it's also worrying that three Allied, three allied armies can't beat um, two and a quarter French for. ones. And also, you got to think that one of those full French armies is the Guard Army, which is... Ace is smaller, but is much more powerful, I guess. The guard could probably just charge forward. They probably could just charge in and just probably just do the death blow right there and then. There you go. One less to what's got broken there. Some Jaegers, leaves some colonial Jaegers, King's German Legion, and King's German Legion. But yes, wherever this weird, this weird hundred de uh, days campaign takes place, it's a, uh, it's certainly gone well for the French. But uh, yeah, I mean, while we're waiting, look at this like cool, like this cool thing. It looks awesome. Look at that. It looks amazing. It's like a castle or something like that. Looks awesome. You can have like a ledge up here with infantry on. Looks amazing. It really does. But anyway, we'll fast forward now because we know what the uh, the outcome is going to be. It's just waiting for the British to die. Die a slow, painful death. But I'm sure that they'll uh, they'll be about to go. Give it a second. There's two, and one final one to go. Broken. And then I'll imagine we'll see a victory screen in a second. And there we go, victory for the French, as we expected. So yes, the guard there, you can see, uh, led by Johnny Le Buffoon, who sent this one in, um, deployed, well, very, like, one of the smallest armies and got the most kills, I think, on the battlefield there. 2,100, you could call it. Uh, so well done to him. Well done to Don as well, who was playing as, um, I think he was playing as De Erlon. As you can see there, he got the least amount of kills, but he had, like, only lost 200 men. His army was basically intact. Fork number two was playing as um, Rial, who was actually a pretty, like, lost quite a lot of troops. He lost the, most of those troops that he sent over. He did kill a good 1,300, and then he got Sniper Smith UK, who was playing as uh, Gerard. He lost less, actually, than um, Rial, and he was committed fully to uh, taking on those three armies, and he killed uh, close to 2,000 men himself. Jacques was playing as the Prussians with his massive 3,000 army, and he only got about 900 kills. Flux here playing as um, 
Um, I can't actually tell you that he's playing as the hill, potentially, I think he's playing as hill. Um, and he got, um, oh, yeah, and he got, like, a thousand kills. He actually did the best of his side. Um, and then you got a joyful uh, Alenia here who's playing as um, Wellington. And see, I got five, we'll call it 500 kills with, like, an army of 2,700. And you got Extinction here playing as the uh, William of Orange. And uh, he got the uh, the least kills, unfortunately. I mean, he was, like, on his own against two French armies, and he lost his general very early. Um, we'll look at some of the kills. You've got Chasseurs here with 230 kills, uh, 209, 199 with Chasseurs. Got, yeah, a lot, a lot of kills. There you go. But, yeah, if you enjoyed the battle, guys, and do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment to show your support. And until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.